Hello and welcome to Excel-DashboardTemplates.com. This is Steve Equals True. Please visit my blog at Excel-DashboardTemplates.com where you're sure to get the latest posts, tips, tricks, and techniques and learn everything about Excel. Okay, today I wanted to show you this awesome chart uh, that Peter created. He used a sample uh, that I had done before with a beer mug where I had the beer mug filling up with beer and then overflowing um, with foam on the top had some uh, visitors that said, you know, uh, I've got a company that just doesn't want to use a beer mug, so but I love the idea. So Peter created this awesome template, and you can go download this from the website. Let's take a look at it. He's got this bottle here, and it's going to fill up with, uh, I don't know, um, some sort of soda. And <clears throat> what uh, you want to do is you want to go ahead and change this value. So let's do like, say, 70%. Um, and you can see it fill up. Let's do 90%. Keeps going up to the top of the bottle. I want to show you some techniques that he's doing here with this. Let's do 120%. Um, look at that. It is foaming out the top. So this company has gone above and beyond. They've gone way over the top of 100% uh, and it's going to do foam. So I just thought that was really cool. Um, so let's show you how Peter did this a little bit. Um, first thing is uh, using the example that I had done. Peter got uh, some uh, very similar things, but one of the things is you got to find a image that's clear with a transparent background. He got some sort of soda here, um, and then he also picked some sort of foam. I don't know, it might even look like clouds or popcorn to me, but uh, it works in the chart. So he takes those and he creates the chart uh, just like I did with the beer mug. I'm not going to show you how to do the beer mug one here, so you can go to, uh, to my blog and look at it and see how we broke this down. Um, first part is there is one part down here below this uh, zero, which kind of gives us our base, and that's where the value of the liquid starts. So if I type in a zero, you'll see there's nothing there but just the bottle. Uh, and then if I add in, say, 10%, um, we are filling up from zero up. Now, uh, next thing is once we start getting over and up into this narrowed neck of the bottle, um, Peter has done something that's really interesting, and I want to go ahead and show you what he's doing. So let's go ahead and go up to 100%. Um, so when you have non-standard or non-straight uh, columns, which so this green here is a column rising up throughout the bottle, um, but when you have a narrowing neck, it's very difficult to try and emulate this because Excel is just going to do a strict column. So see if I click on this, this green value here is actually a column of data. Uh, let's go 50% and if I click on it you'll see, see it's just a column on your normal chart. Once again you can go uh, check out how we do this uh, on my blog at excel-templates.com but here's the trick. How did he get the narrowing in here? Let's go ahead and take a look. Um, he has put white shapes on top of the chart to mimic uh, the contour of the chart and in some places he even uh, added some circle images as well so let's go ahead and take a look at some of these uh, let's click on like right around here I'm gonna go up to my home ribbon and I'm just gonna go do a fill of color in there look at that there is a just a little sliver of a shape that he's got there let's go ahead and fill this one in as well um, and what you'll notice is that that shape is filling in uh, white right around the neck here. So he's just kind of overlapped a whole bunch of different shapes um, so that uh, as this goes up and down, um, the white that is overlaying this chart is going to hide the green part of it. So if I go ahead and move some of these off and just keep on layering them, you'll see the green that we were talking about. So how cool is that? I changed those other ones to red, but that's why you're seeing those shapes there. So Peter, I thought that was just such an awesome job of uh, how you did that and uh, wanted to say thank you very much. I've posted this template of this Excel goal chart out on my blog as well so that you can download and use this as your company. And then uh, the cool thing that it does is once you get over 100%, you start to get foam rising out of the top. Once again, he did that with those circles. So just thought it was amazing how he did this. Thank you very much, Peter. Uh, really appreciate all your help on the site. And uh, everyone else, I wanted to say please don't forget to come over to Excel-DashboardTemplates.com so you can get some awesome other sample charts like this. Please also subscribe to my video channel so that you get the latest posts delivered directly to your inbox. Thank you.